It's Tuesday the 16th of May and just as predicted by the weather forecast we have well we had a lovely couple of hours this morning um, when I first got up and well, actually quite a few hours uh, and then uh, middle of the morning around 10 o'clock it started raining and it's pretty much been raining ever since and um, this is due to carry on for uh, two or three days now so I'm really pleased that first thing this morning I got out into the garden now I'm not really a brolly kind of girl but in order to show you what I've been doing I need to keep the camera dry so out in the veg garden I've been well I've been putting up the next set of canes and there we go so despite the fact that I thought I was going to plant leeks uh, <laughs> And things in this beliefs and lettuce and something else in this bed I've decided that this is going to have beans in it um, it didn't have beans last year so it should be absolutely fine so I built a I've built a structure as it were so there's uprights in the four corners that go straight up straight up <laughs> and then and when you look down the length of it you can see that the the canes crossover from one side to the other and this is so that the bean plant can grow from the ground up that a diagonal pole as you'd expect and then as the as the pods come they actually hang down clear of the pole and just dangle down and say pick me pick me so you can very easily access the beans as they grow and normally if you do a if you do a tripod or a, a wigwam beans will hang down towards the center of it and be hidden by the foliage um, and this way this way they just hang clear and make it much easier for you to to pick it and then mr j came out and joined me in the garden and and we tried doing a little bit of digging uh, in our no dig garden <laughs> <laughs> which I know doesn't make sense but we tried to well we started actually let me show you so for the next bed we've we've dug down not very far as you can see just it's just three or four inches and then we've just turned the the turf over and left it on the side there and then I'm filling the trench with some old straw from the circle of love that we moved at the weekend and then putting the turf on top of the straw but grass side down so that we've just got the we've got the soil on top now the rain is doing a lovely job of of making that all moist and uh, and it will start becoming usable very quickly so my plan is to then do along there and down to the pathway there so that will be the next raised bed um, and we haven't done this digging down thing with with any of the others but i don't have any uh, don't have any topsoil left and i'm getting really low on the composted wood chipping so this was a case of being able to create the next bed and um and have some soil or however poor it is um, to use so the idea is to do that and then I'll top it with some of the composted wood chippings that we have got left uh, and then I can get some plants into it a quick update on my fabulous tunnel here which protects the brassicas from cabbage white butterfly now yesterday I think it was I did see a cabbage white butterfly and it so they can't get in which makes the cabbages and kale inside completely safe except they're not safe from slugs and there are slugs are plenty in there and they are eating they are eating my plants so mr j has very kindly bought me some cheap and disgusting beer um i don't know it's disgusting i don't like beer so uh, i haven't even tried it so i'm going to make some beer traps so uh, 
some little shallow dishes with beer in it and then hopefully that will attract the slugs more than my brassicas and uh, and then they'll get merrily drunk and drown and um, and that's the best I can do to keep them off uh, short of being out here 24 hours a day picking them off as they tackle the brassicas there's not much else I can do it's so wet out here today not a chicken in the field no chicks out in their run now these chicks might be because they've got a cover on their run oh, and even they aren't terribly impressed it's a bit wet isn't it lovely oh the noise on the roof of the palace i'm gonna have to put my brolly down because big white doesn't like it So despite the pouring rain, Big White and his girlies are having a lovely dust bath. in the stable well we have a similar situation if it's going to rain they're going to stay inside so this morning I constructed this little perch thing that uh, Elvis is sitting in the middle of now and there's one there's one chicken sitting on it Hello, it's finally found the perch. Super. So I built this because they've been hunkering down on the floor and looking a bit miserable. And I thought it was probably time they had something in here that they can sit on and and rest. There was two bits of packing case wood that um, we had. They were sort of, I don't know, must have been the ends from packing cases or something from uh, the local garden centre and two of the hazel poles that we have uh, from from lisa um oh, i've literally just strapped them together it's a very temporary affair but it did give them something other than the floor to sit on and it raised them out of the out of the sawdust all the time however this little lot well they don't want to be raised out of the sawdust they're very happy down there looking like some of them have been dust bathing some of them are going to be dust bathing and the next thing I'm going to do is a funny noise, Elvis. What's the matter? And the next thing I'm going to do is go in and do a little check for any eggs. Our last batch of chicks. Here they are. Well, they're moving out tomorrow. Tomorrow they get to, or the next day, but probably tomorrow. They get to move out to a house in the field and they will I'll divide them up into two houses so there'll be the ten in each house. Oh that was a bit unnecessary. And um yeah so then they'll they'll get divided into into groups in the field uh, for the next four weeks 
So they'll get to experience grass for the first time and sunshine and, uh, and rain, of course. Now, as, as seems to happen on a fairly regular basis, there, there are quite a lot of male chicks in our hatch. Um, but that's okay, that's all right for us. The females will go into the laying flock and we'll choose um, our favorite male and female to, uh, to go into a breeding pen at some point, or male and females, should I say, into a breeding pen at some point. Um, and, oh, excuse me, I can see a spider. Okay, dealt with. Uh, <laughs> it's only a tiny spider. Um, if it was a big spider, I'd be running. Where was I? I was talking about, yes, the chicks behind us. So uh, there are uh, copper, uh, black, copper black, uh, copper and blue, and uh, cuckoo morans in the, uh, in the pen behind me. And there's also some hybrids of, um, oh, now what are they? <laughs> they are Brahma crosses um, crossed with we know not what. So they're just, they're just crosses basically. Um, and they'll go into the laying flock as well. And of course, any of the boys that we aren't going to use to breed, well, they don't get wasted either. Uh, they, they get grown on and, uh, and when the time is right, they end up in the freezer. <laughs> 